Hi, I'm Mike McFarland, field agronomist with Pioneer. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about planting in the too wet of conditions in the springtime. Here we have a plant that has sidewall compaction. You can see on this side it's all slicked off. We had compaction here. I left the, the, the other side of this plant with the other side of the true V. But what's happening here is this planter obviously was in too wet of conditions, but also probably had too much down pressure on their planter. What we can do from here on out, we got to keep this field wet to get past this. We got to soften up this sidewall compacted area so that root system can get out of that and not be restricted. Just some things to think about though in the future. If we do have a restricted root system, what are we going to worry about? Number one thing, in my opinion, is plant standability in the fall. If we don't have a good base, this plant's going to get six to probably eight foot tall. We're going to see a lot of standability issues uh, at the end of the season. Number two is drought tolerance. No matter how drought tolerant a product is, if we don't have a good base supporting that, uh, bringing water and nutrients to that plant, we're not going to have a very drought tolerant product. Number three is nutrient uptake. You can see here, We've got some end deficiency. We can, we can solve this with a circle of fertilizer through the pivot, but we also got to get that root system down to grab that nutrients that are out there and that fer fertilizer that's out there beyond what the root system can grab. Our last but not least, probably the most important is rootworm protection. Our Herculux rootworm trait expresses its protein in its highest concentration of actively growing roots. If we restrict this root system like it is here today, we're not gonna have that protein expression in that root. We're gonna have feeding damage, we're gonna have a lot of things go on until we can get this root system up and growing again. So you can see how important it's gonna be to get this water on this pivot, to soften up this sidewall compaction, and get this root system started again. Again, I'm Mike McFarland, Field Agronomist with Pioneer. If you have any questions or see this in the field, please contact your Pioneer sales rep or visit Pioneer.com. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on Pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.